Hey everyone, I'm Sam from the Aragon Growth Guild, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to build your DAO tooling stack. So let's go. DAO tooling is just a set of smart contracts and software that you use to run your organization. It can include how you hold votes, how you manage your treasury, how you communicate amongst members, and lots of other things. DAO tooling doesn't need to be super complicated. You can actually run your DAO with just one or two platforms, but it's important to think about some of the issues that you might wanna solve in your DAO and how you can do that through software and smart contracts. A DAO is an organization run with smart contracts on a public blockchain, so starting with the smart contracts you're using is the most important step. These smart contracts might be on a DAO framework like Aragon, or they might be built entirely by yourself in your own development team. With a platform like the Aragon app, you can run your DAO on chain without needing to code at all. And it actually takes less than 10 minutes to set up your organization. On the Aragon app, you can hold votes, manage a treasury, manage your DAO membership, and lots of other things. Let's talk about communication and coordination in your DAO. You might be running your DAO entirely online. Your members might be spread across a lot of different time zones, so you're going to need an easy way to communicate online and asynchronously. A lot of DAOs use platforms like Discord, Telegram, Slack, Signal, all of these are messaging platforms that people use to communicate with each other across time zones and across the world. You might also need to document these communications on a platform like Notion or Google Drive or a privacy preserving platform like Skiff. You might also hold meetings. You might do that in a chat channel in Discord or in Google Meet or Zoom. When it comes to these communication tools, make sure you think about permission management. Who has access to join these meetings or conversations and who's in charge of moderating them. These questions are crucial to think about when you have large online communities. If your DAO is just a small group of five members, you don't have to worry about it quite as much. The next category to think about is voting and decision making. You might want a platform where you can create proposals that members in your organization can vote on. You can do this really easily in the Aragon app. You can create votes for less than five cents on the Polygon blockchain and then members can vote in less than three cents. Of course, these gas fees do fluctuate occasionally. A lot of DAOs use a platform called Discourse, which is a forum platform where members can have discussions and create threads. But having a forum and a discourse, that's not necessary for being a DAO. You can run in whatever way works for your community. When it comes to creating proposals, you might want to think about moderation and regulation of the forum. Can anyone discuss in these channels or do you have someone who's moderating everything and making sure that the discussions go smoothly? Next, you're going to want to think about finance. Are you managing a DAO treasury and how are you doing it? Is your whole treasury on chain, such as through the Aragon app, or do you have some of your assets off chain, such as in a bank account. The finance stack is going to vary greatly based on organization. If you're just getting started, using the treasury management tools we have on the Aragon app is a great way to go. You can use a multi-sig or token voting to manage your DAO treasury on the Aragon app. A multi-sig is when members are assigned based on wallets rather than tokens. So you can paste in the wallet addresses of your members and those become the voting members of your organization. Or you can issue tokens and distribute those to members, and then those members are freely allowed to sell or distribute those tokens to others later on. The option you choose is just really gonna depend on the type of DAO that you have. Next, you might wanna think about membership tracking and platform gating. You can use platforms like POAP, that's proof of attendance protocol, to issue NFTs to members when they perform certain actions, like attend a meeting, for example. You can also use platform gating tools like Collabland and Guild, so you can gate Discord channels and forum channels so that only your DAO members or your token holders can access them. Next, you're gonna to wanna to think about broadcasting. How do you reach your members? Do you reach them through Twitter or LinkedIn or Instagram? Or are you using a more Web3 native platform like Lens or Farcaster? You can also reach them through newsletters like on Substack or through blogs such as on Ghost. Some DAOs also have their own websites like on Squarespace or WordPress. 
These tools are common in the Web2 world and they might not sound so different from what you're used to using. Lastly, you're gonna to wanna to think about legal. Do you have a legal wrapper and do you have a platform to manage that legal wrapper? If you're looking for a Web3 lawyer, you can go to aragon.org experts and find verified and vetted Web3 lawyers there. One important thing to think about before you go select your DAO tooling stack is to test and iterate as you go. You're not going to get it right from the first time and that's totally okay. The tools that you start with might not be the tools that you finish with. For example, you might start by broadcasting your information to members over Twitter, but you might learn later that they prefer to read information via a newsletter. This is an example of experimenting to find what works for your community. You can get started with DAO tooling very, very simply by just going to app.aragon.org and launching your DAO in less than 10 minutes. This is going to check a lot of your DAO tooling boxes for you so you don't need to look elsewhere. You can run votes, manage a treasury, and manage membership all from one place. So just go to app.aragon.org and get started there.